beautiful fella. Uh, he's even uh, given me his hind kit because he don't drink, and I've nicely passed it on to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> to get them nicely lubricated for this, uh, I'm going to give you about another five or six minutes because uh, we don't need to keep a big gap in while he sets his beautician stuff up. So if you're a female with it that's wearing shiny stuff, run away when he pulls the saw out. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you um, a couple of more humorous stuff to finish off with about mates taking acid, about idiots in a flat in a fucking airport, and leave you desanitised because I've talked a bit politically. I am a little bit left of the fence and I have told you about what goes on in my fucking head which isn't a nice place half the time so that my wife puts up with me a lot and <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, this one is called uh, Flight Twats. <laughs> I'm one of them but it's about all the twats that I see at an airport but there are only really two flight twats and it'll come out at the end it's those fuckers that don't put headphones on when they're playing shit music or watching a crap film <laughs> all the way to an airport which means when I'm signing my fucking seat waiting for my cup of tea the fucking flight's delayed there they come so there the, everyone else is me my mum my mates and we're not twats it's just people it's just things we do in an airport there's those that wave priority bar, they bar boarding like they're king or queen. There's those when a flight's delayed five minutes, they cause a fucking scene. The power crazy snake charmer that bellows at 5am, and those in the dodgy shiny travel clothes, usually from Primark or Matalan. There's those that can't read 100 milliliter or a plastic bag rule, and those with a latex glove fetish that always seem to think my ass is for the trafficking mule. They do, I get searched every time. <laughs> There's those who forget their belts and phones and coins secreted in pockets. They get asked to have their back swapped and they go off like Haley's Comet. There are those with giant sized body bags who think they walk on size. And those other non curie priority eagles who seem to think it's a VIP AAA prize. There's those who sink a gallon of beer before a one hour flight. They always get allocated a seat next to me and they start to prattle a lot of shite. <laughs> There's those at uh, X-ray with more devices than a pop-up curry store. The smug who clip the belts fall asleep, lean over and start to fucking snore. There's those who sit in the wrong seat. They're ignorant, they're reluctant to move. And there's those who brag of their holiday home as if this concept's something new. The kids that kick the back of your seat as soon as you sit down. And those nosy fuckers who want your life story before you've left the terminal ground. There's those who've made to own all the bars and who got Stella a pint cheaper. Sausage, eggs, chips and beans. Oh no, it was Heineken that they got cheaper. <laughs> but it's, it's those with headphones that really boil my piss. And those who slept in cold in a boarding delire. They're the really fuckers that wind up my piss. They are the flight twats. They are the flight twats. They're the real flight twats. Thank you. Woo! This one's about social media.